Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and today I wanted to share with you how to free motion quilt a flower design. You can find the complete tutorial on this quilt top on my blog at inspiringcreationsblog.com. I now want to explain to you how I have my actual machine settings and then we will get started. <clears throat> I have my stitch length at as low as it will go. I have my thread tension at an eight and a half, and I have my feed dogs up. Feed dogs, your machine is going to be different, and your personal preference is going to be different. I have found that I prefer to have my feed dogs up. I feel like it is easier, and also my stitch quality and the overall appearance looks better on my actual machine when I have my feed dogs up. I have tried this on a Bernina machine and it did not work as well. So like I said, it's your machine, your personal preferences. You should really test this out. The other thing I wanted to go over is thread tension. I was practicing this design yesterday on some practice fabric and I was going about 20 minutes and I ran out of thread so I took out my fabric and I looked at the back and it looked awful. So I immediately knew my thread tension was off. So I look at my thread tension and lo and behold, I forgot to, ch to change it. It was clear at a three and a half, which it needed to be way higher than that. So I wanted to show you what it looks like when your thread tension is off. So here is, let me grab, now, this is my first try at the design, so don't judge how awful it looks. <laughs> so here it is, and you can see on those flowers that the stitches are awful. And you don't want this on your quilt. So I would really recommend practicing for at least a half an hour your design. Not only you need to make sure you have the hang of the design, you want to make sure all of your machine settings are correct. So, with that being said, I'd like to show you how I go about doing this design. Okay, so I'm back at my machine and I have already quilted a bunch of blocks so far. Um, but when I started, I started in the middle of a flower. I found that it was easier to start in the middle of the flower because doing the design, you're always going to go back to the flower. I drew um, freehanded just like a small flower. Um, I'm going to use it as my guide, but I don't necessarily follow it exactly because I kind of just do what's, what feels right when I'm stitching along. And I also do an inner petal that I don't have outlined here. I just kind of use this outer petal as a guide. So I'm going to start with an inner petal and show you how I do this. So... You're going to go up and you're going to make this small petal and go back to the center. And then you're going to follow the line again, go up, and meet back at the center. And what I like to do is when I was practicing, I was practicing doing the petals in all directions because it's easier to stitch this in each direction rather than move the quilt. Um, obviously you can move the quilt if it's easier for you, but I, it takes less time and it's easier for me to just stitch each petal from the direction I'm going. So I'm doing the inner one and then the outer one. just be mindful of the other petal lines so you don't cross into it. So I'm sewing my last petal here and I have noticed that what I have drawn is dramatically different from what I'm actually going to do. Um, so just keep that in mind. You want to do what feels comfortable for you. So I'm going to do the inner petal. Meet at the center. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm at the center, and now I need to do it, the filler. So what I've decided on this quilt is I'm going to do loop-de-loops for my filler design. And I'm doing this all on um, anything that's not a solid block. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing that. So you're going to stitch out in the space between two petals. You're going to make a little loop-de-loop. -loop, and you kind of want it to look organic. You don't want it to look... You know, I'm not drying this out because I want it to look, you know spontaneous, not going the same direction every loop-de-loop. -loop. So, you're just going to find your way over into these other blocks, and you're going to fill them with this design. As you can see, do big ones and small ones, and as you can see, this goes relatively quickly. Um, you don't want to cross into your other stitches. Um, if you have to, that's fine, but you just just be mindful. And then as you come to safety pins, just undo them. And as you can see, I'm coming towards a solid block. So I haven't drawn a flower on here yet, um, but if you want, you can freehand your flower just by from memory, like I have a couple times, or you can draw on every single block. It's up to you, whatever is most comfortable. Um, but I'm going to continue to fill in this space before I go on to this block. And that's what you want to do, because you don't want to like find spaces that are in the middle that don't have any filler and have to go fill those in later. It's kind of annoying. So just go ahead and finish doing your filler and then as you come to your solid patches you want to go in and do some loop-de-loops and then do some more flowers.